Hi all and welcome back to the Let's Play of Sea of Stars. We are still in Moore's Lands. And yeah, we will continue the exploration. But before we do that, I just want to say that if you are enjoying the channel or this video series, I would love it if you hit those like and subscribe buttons. And for those of you who do hit those, thank you. And for the rest of us, you are very welcome to stick along with the adventure anyway. And as per always, I will not be talking, but I will be reading dialogue and information and stuff like that while gaming. Let's do this. Found one of Rockcliffe.
stone mason outpost. Fishing lake. Lunar Trout and Two Unknown. You caught a hard shell. You caught a lunar trout. Grass head up. Grass haddock, archo, and lunar trap.
someone's over there. We should ask for directions. She looks busy. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Hello, is there something special about that big rock? Huh? Yes, come look at this. It's, uh... Um... This looks like... Nah, must be my imagination. <clears throat> so, uh, what are those? Fascinating is what they are. These runes are the oldest form of writing known to us. Who's us? Traveling historians, of course. Or at least, what's left of them. No way! You're a traveling historian? Nice to meet you. My name is Scar. Nice to meet you too. I'm Teeks. So, are your friends always this quiet? Sail are fun. They've just been sailed away to studying the sky for too many years. Huh? Magic hair? Enchanted cloth pieces? Solstice warriors. We, I, I knew it. Adventurous spirits, fearsome in battle, fated to unravel mysterious unknown and encounter countless forgotten artifacts. A traveling historian's best friends. Um. I mean, well, someone's excited. <laughs> we thought Garl was something. Hey guys, Teeks has an offer for us and I think it's worth hearing her out. Sure, what's up? <clears throat> I'm not sure how to explain it properly. It's about my book. Treat with us tonight, Teeks. This place is perfect to set up camp. Oh, well, don't be shy. We're happy to have you. Yeah, plus you have to try Carl's cooking. I... Okay, thanks. That's it. One stew coming right up. Thanks again for the food, Carl. You really are a pretty good cook. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join us again anytime. So, you're the very last traveling historian? At this point, I might as well be the first. It's been so long since all the lower grimoires were burned. The what now? Lower grimoires. Every traveling historian has one. Or had one, I suppose. They're enchanted books that write themselves by touching artifacts with stories to tell. Whoa! A traveling historian.
traveling historian's duty is to make their lore grimoire as full as possible before passing it on to a new recruit. It used to be a guild and a whole bunch of us, but now there's just this believer here. Which leads to what I've been meaning to ask. Shoot. Well, you see, the best thing a traveling historian can ask for is adventurers who keep an eye out for them. I don't have a way to pay you, but if you wouldn't mind grabbing any artifact to stumble upon during your adventures, I'd be happy to share stories with you. Sounds fun, but how will we find you if you're always traveling? Don't worry about it, I'll just stop by your campfire whenever you're out in the open. The perfect setting for telling stories. Story time by the campfire? Sign me up. Great. Just bring me any artifacts you find and we'll see how my Lord Grimoire reacts. How many stories do you have so far? Just the one. It was empty when I found it, but that's okay by me. I plan on discovering enough to fill an entire volume. That's the spirit. This first story wrote itself when I stumbled upon a very old pirate earring. That's when I knew I was holding a real lore grimoire. They were thought extinct. What's the story about? A ghost pirate ship called the Vespertine. Ooh. I can read it for you if you want. Feel free to ask. I didn't even know traveling stories were a thing. I wonder how many of them there used to be. Story time at the campfire, sign me up. Hey, want to hear a story? Yes. Which one? The Vespertine. Of all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment, you are as dreadful as the curse of the Vespertine. This story takes us back centuries to a time when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas. Stormcaller was the name of their captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known. And their navigator, Hortons, remains to this day the shrewdest mariner on record. Combining Hortons' skill and Stormcaller's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until, one day, the inevitable happened. Hortons, whose first love was music, announced that she wanted to quit the pirate life and devote herself to her art full time. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure one finds along the way, Stormcaller took her resignation harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring wind for the sails and locked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. And we should remain here, he said, till our navigator gets that silly idea out of her mind. But Horson, Hortons had already made her final decision. Days went by, both of them sulking while their crew begged that they reach some resolution. First, they ran out of patience, then out of food, and eventually out of drinkable water. Then one day after sunset, the pirates, driven mad by hunger and thirst, mutinied and made their captain walk the plank. And as he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew and conjured an eternal prison. In the sea of nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds to the gas the place until only Hortons remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the Sea of Nightmare, Stormcaller's hatred pitted against the navigator's sheer will. Some say Stormcaller's fury will one day sink the ship, while others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortons. And in Hassid she gets a short break once a day, for about a few seconds, at the precise time the curse was first conjured. Countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. They call it the Vespertine. While some have 
half a mind to climb aboard in search of pressure, most avoid sailing at dusk for fear of being sucked into the sea of nightmare. The end. Good night, folks. A boat ride to Wraith Island? That might be a challenge given the situation with the lift. Huh? Probably nothing you can't figure out. Which way is it? East of here, along the path. Mind if I stick around for now? We have the same destination. The more the merrier. Peaks joins the cargo. A tingling of ancient magic can be felt, as if it had all but completely faded away over time. Zael and Garl learned combo skill Solar Rain. Wonder, mountains are nice. This is the life.
Stone Mason's Outpost. The Elder hasn't returned! Malkamut will kill us all! Run! Who are you? Have you come to save us? Well... Of course, they're Solstice Warriors! Garl! It's true, no? We should help if we can! What's the matter? It's Malcolmud, the Earth Elemental Wizard. We're just a peaceful little outpost taking care of the mine's wind tunnels. It's our job, it is, to keep them unobstructed so that the wind can play the melody for the sleeper. <gasps> but now Malcolmud has taken over the mines, so we can't go in anymore. And if the sleeper wakes, it will be the end of the world. What's more, they clog the tunnel power in the great elevator's windmill, so we can't even go to risk to ask for help. If this continues, Malcolm's minions will start pouring out of the mines and... and... It's okay, we're here to help. What happened next? The, the Elder went in to try and stop him, but it's been so long. Where's the entrance? Just up there at the top of the outpost, but Malcolmud is very powerful. Don't worry, you'll find your elder. One evil wizard going down. Oh, what luck! Thank you! Everyone, stop panicking! Solstice Warriors are here to solve everything! The elder will return! Malakmud won't kill us all! Yay! Um, I'll let you get on with it then. There's still lots for me to learn here. Stone Mason's Outpost. And I think this might just be the perfect place to end off part I'll see you again in the next one. Thank you all for following along in my Sea of Stars adventure. I hope you are having as much fun as I am. If you are, I would love to hit those like subscribe buttons. And if I saw you again in the next part, but for now, it's time to say bye bye.